But let's transition over to the Bills and Chiefs game. Yeah, this game uh, was one that people talked about for the next 24 hours up until Lamar Jackson happened, but we'll get back to that. Um, I, I mean, what else can I say other than Patrick Mahomes had a fall from grace? That's what this game was. There was a question posted on Twitter the other day, and I sadly don't have the tweet on me, um, that said, are you more impressed by the Colts' win or by the Chiefs' loss? And I said, I'm more impressed, or I'm more, I'm focused more on the Chiefs' loss because Patrick Mahomes was sacked twice and threw two interceptions. He still threw two touchdowns and completed 33 of 54 uh, pass attempts and threw for 272 yards. He was also the leading rusher on the team with 61 yards. That run game could not get going against Buffalo's defense. Uh, and then Miko Hardman was the leading receiver with 76 yards. Tyreek still had a touchdown. That's going to happen. But their defense was just not there. And I know we've talked about this outside of recording. The Chiefs defense at this point, you can, it's not completely unheard of to bet against them at this point in the season. No, absolutely not. And uh, there was a stat on a per play basis. The most prolific offense in NFL history was the 2000 Rams. They averaged seven yards a play. The Chiefs are allowing 7.1 yards per play. Every team that they're playing against looks like the greatest show on turf. You can't have that. You don't no. win championships like that. You no. win championships with those numbers. You lose, more, you lose almost every game with that kind of performance on the defense. They're they could, just getting their asses saved by Patrick Mahomes. They could make rookie and second-year quarterbacks playing right now look like they're playing for the greatest show on turf. Like, that's... That's how bad it is over there. And this is a team that went to the Super Bowl last year, by the way, and won the Super Bowl two years ago. And the defense looks to have gotten better on paper over the last two years. And it just, it fell off. It, yeah, it's that, a fall it hasn't grace translated the on the field. And it Josh, seems... Go ahead. Go ahead, keep going. No, no, keep no, going, no, no, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. It seems like with the Chiefs that... With uh, with how prolific that offense is, they've been putting everything aside. Like, oh, we'll worry about the defense later, and then now it's starting to catch up with them. Uh, like Frank Clark's not is not dependable snap like on every single snap. Uh, Chris Jones was out of this was out of the ball was out of the Buffalo game. It's just the key pieces that they do have on their defense is whenever they're not playing, this is what's going to happen. And it's just going to keep getting worse throughout the season. Right. And it's, it's almost like the chiefs plan right now is just we'll outscore opponents. You can't outscore opponents if you can't get a stop. So your idea of being able to outscore opponents is different than what it needs to be. Yeah. That's draining for the offense too. You know, but if you're not going to be able to compete late in the game and you just can't make that comeback like you think you can or you can't score on that last drive like Patrick Mahomes has done before and you're just not able to outscore your opponents, you're going to start to lose confidence. And it's just not going to be good for the rest of the season. No, not at all. I actually have a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, Allen, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes in their last 21 starts. Uh, you, I think you guys have already seen this. They're both 17-4 and four in their last 21 starts. Josh Allen has a 106.0 passer rating. Mahomes has a 106.9. So Mahomes has the edge in that category. Allen has a 67.6% completion percentage. And Mahomes has a 67.0% has a completion percentage. Uh, Allen's touchdown to interception ratio is 59 to 12. Mahomes is 58 to 13. So I, I'm not going to say that Josh Allen is better, but it's time to start putting a little bit of respect on his name. Uh, yeah, everybody has been all hail Patrick Mahomes, and rightfully so. But we also need to recognize that Josh Allen is putting up similar numbers 
and they they knocked them off. You know, su- uh, Sunday. It it might be the Bills' division to lose or conference to lose. I I think so. I think. I, I mean, you can sit here and say that Patrick Mahomes is probably the best quarterback in the league right now, and nobody's going to argue with you too much. But it's now after this game, it's time to look at the other quarterbacks in the league like Josh Allen and say he can compete with Patrick Mahomes. He can compete with guys like Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. You know, it's time to start putting some respect on some of these other guys' names other than just Patrick Mahomes. Oh, 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 oh,